Good day, class. So, today we are discussing limits. So, morning siya atong mga subtopics for limits, but right now we're just going to be discussing notion and definition and properties of limits. Um, operations, evaluation, one-sided infinite limits, and limits at infinity will be discussed next meeting. Okay. So what is the what is the definition of this? Let's take a limit. So a concept of limit class is what you call the cornerstone of both differential and integral calculus. What do you mean by cornerstone? Um it means it is the foundation for which we for a kumbaga solid na to nga kadang uh kitindugan or give build give built upon a differential integral calculus. So it's very important to, to um understand the concept of limit. So also any limit So a limit it means getting as close to something as you can without actually getting there. Okay. So not I an I paradox ni Zeno. No? It means uh analogy class. So it is like when a man is standing in front of a room, no, but he cannot walk to the wall, he can only get as close as he can to the wall, but not to the exact position of the wall. So that's what we are going to be solving here, class. It's a limit of a certain function when the x approaches a certain value. Okay, so it's not exactly the value of the f of x. Uh, I mean, delicia necessary the value of f of x at that value of x, but rather it's a uh, it's a value, it's a number. Um, na mo approach ang value sa f of x. I hope that makes sense. But let's have an example. Okay, so let's have here an f of x so equals x squared minus two x minus three all over x minus three. So from just from looking at this function class, we know that when your x is equal to negative three class, sorry, x is equal to three, x is equal to three, this will become zero in the denominator. So this will become, and f of x will become undefined. So the function is undefined when x is equal to three. The, the question now is, what are the function values or what is the value of the function? Or what is the like what is the value for when x gets closer and closer to three? Dapat makabalota on sa kahatning a value. On sa value when your kung tanaw ta sa imuhang imuhang point last number line. Um na kay domain din ba sa x? What is the value when x daw? Will approach to three no so we will analyze the value of our function from the left and the right of your um domain as it approaches the value of three okay unsa na dere somewhere asa na siya sa graph asa na siya sa function okay so same example class x minus two x minus three all over x minus three let's try to solve for the values of f of x given ni mga values at ito. 1, 2, 25. So, pwede siya yung ano yung glass. No? Pwede na ito i-analyze. Na ako graph later, but just think of a num just think of the number line. Just think of the number line uh, we have here itong negative dira. But since we're approaching, no, uh, we get closer and closer to 3. So, for example, na kay Okay. Instead daw ang value sa mga f of x, asa mo approach ang value sa mga f of x when your x approaches to 3. So, that's why nagkuha tadrig mga arbitrary points class. No, 1, 2. Okay. Kini siya. Padulong ta sa 3 man. And then, sa right side po sa to ang function in kini nga table. Ikan sa ta dito sa 5. Padulong ta sa 3. No? So, itong tanawag class, kung saka nga value, asa siya mo approach so, we'll try to substitute the values of our, um, diba kanisha is, this will become f of 1, no? So, that is, um, atong i-replace ni Dere, 
substitute nila so that it's 1 squared minus 2 times 1 minus 3. All over 1 minus 3. Okay. So, na ako table uh, later. So, kung ano po na to ang f of 2, 3, f of 2.5, and so on. Here, f of 5, f of 4, and so on. Okay? So, this is not the summary of our table. Okay. So, nakita ninyo, class, that from the left side of the number 3, we are approaching ang saka nga value. And here, put sa to ang uh, from sa right from 5 up to 3.001, atong value is approaching, and I think you can already tell, that we are approaching the value of 4. Okay? Value of 4. Okay. So, therefore, class, kini siya 3.9, no? So, balik sa tagamay din. So, kung mag-add ko 2.999 din, may mo rin siya 3.9999. Kini 3.0001, may mo siyang 4.0001. So, it's not really exactly for both sides, no? But we know that it is approaching to a certain value, 4. Okay? So, the number 4 here, the class, uh, which f of x gets close to, when x gets closer to 3, but not really equal to 3, is said to be the limit of f of x as x approaches 3. So in symbol, in another of one class, but right. So we have here the uh, we we read that as the limit of f of x. We didn't even rewrite for the whole f of x. Ang kanis na whole, pero shorten nato kami karon. The limit of f of x as x approaches to three is equal to four. Okay, so let's look at the graph of that. Okay, so. Delete na to makita ang x class. Uh, Nakat siguro na ako. But you can tell that this value of x and a class, mo ni siya ang 3 sa imong number line no, sa imong x. And if ato na i-zoom, because that is undefined, meaning nakahalaw na siya class, delete siya part na point sa imong graph. Meaning delete siya solution sa imong graph. Because again, at this value sa imong 3, sa imong x na 3, it makes your function undefined. So again, delete siya part. Okay, kung shaded na siya, meaning part siya sa solution siya mong function, but in this case, may mo mo siyang undefined class. But as you can see, money ang left side sa atong graph, no? Kine. You can see that as x approaches to 3 class, ay mong x ba, approach at 3, from the left side of your equation or function, and from the right side with class, as it approaches to the value of 3, the limit is actually this one. And that point is 4. 4. Okay? So again, the limit of f of x, or the limit of x squared minus 2x minus 3 all over x minus 3, as x approaches to 3, is equal to 4. Now, generally, so this is our definition or notation sa limits class. If f of x gets closer and closer to a number L, no? as x gets closer and closer to a number C, getting na adri, from both sides, then L is the limit of f of x as x approaches. See, so yung niya ito ang notation. So kung real niya again is the limit of f of x as x approaches C is L, certain number L. Again, I'd like to emphasize that the limits describe the behavior of the function near a particular point, but not necessarily at the point itself. Okay, now, let's look at a polynomial. Okay, so let's study the behavior of this linear function class. f of x is equal to x plus 3. So we want to get the limit of x plus 3 as x approaches to 2. Okay, from both sides, so... Nagleta direct mga certain values no nga mo approach to 2 from the left side. Those are the values of x uh, from the right side sa 2. Okay. So, if we substitute these values here sa itong x plus 3, we will get these values. Okay. As you can see, asa mo siya nga value nag approach. It approaches to a certain value. Kini is padulong sa 5, padulong yapon sa 5. So, we can say 
that the limit of x plus 3 as x approaches to 2 is equal to 5. Okay, so what can you observe sa ito ang um, limit no, um, of a polynomial function? So here, class, balik sa tasa itong first example, it's not as easy you know, as it looks because if you want to get the limit nagtabulate tabulation itong gibuhatan ni no it's a rational function because we cannot um substitute the value of 3 here because it will make your f of x undefined but as you can see here and as you can observe here in our x plus 3 nga function all we have to do actually is just substitute the value of here in our f of x and that will make it 5 okay so in nani ang yung plus the limit of x plus 3 naman yung graphs to x plus 3. And then we have here 2. Okay, nag-let mo na to negative 1, negative, as a negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1. And then we also have values in between 1 and 2. We also have, um, we also have the value of 3. And then between put the number 2 and 3 nga mga values. So, as you can see, as it approaches, the 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 value of two okay from the left side can you from the right side what happens is it approaches this point here which is five okay nisha ang two x it just so happened that the value of our limit is also a solution sa to f of x or is also a point in the graph of our function. So that's why, <clears throat> ah, okay, natin mga basic limits class that we discuss later. But let's have another example. This is very easy for polynomial. The ritual ni mo substitute ang values yung the limit. Okay, here. Um, we have okay, given this rational function, we have the limit of x squared plus x minus 2 all over x minus 1 as x approaches to 1 is what graphically you can say or you can tell that it approaches a certain value, you know, directa sa y magtanaw class asa mo na tungo di mong 1 okay, mo ni mong 1 so as you can see, when x approaches 1 from left, and when x approaches one from the right, the limit niya is ana. so that is three graphically. So let's see if um let's see in the given class. Okay, and define gap by the way. The value of one is substitute not the is x. Ang wala naman on for rational is you want to make sure. Yan denominator derecho class. Kaya okay, wala na problema ang numerator. Tanaw ni mo ang denominator if it will make it undefined. Now, one will make it undefined. So it's not as straightforward as the polynomial function where you can just substitute it. Okay? So unsa on man siya, so di mo siya ma-substitute. Um, before we go to how, how to solve that class without the table without the graph. Tanaw sa nato, unsa di mga kaya ba sinalibong ba nga mam? Ang value lagi sa ito, limit mo kay i-substitute na lagi nyo ang value sa x dito sa imang function. Makuha na din nyo. Well, yes and no because most of the time for polynomial, for, for, for polynomial, direct sure na siya class. But for other functions, hindi na siya 100% uh, true. Nga kung i-substitute mo ang value sa x, kani mo direct sure na di gawas ang imuhang um, ang imuhang value sa function. Kaya for example, dire, graphically, you can say na ang limit sa function f of x, gini is a piecewise function, okay? Limit of a function refers to the value that the function approaches. Muna yung pinipas is gini na, not the actual value, if any. Ano man? Okay, ato nang i-define yung piecewise function class. If you can remember, ang piecewise function is defined by many equations. So, ang first nga equation na ito, ang modified sa atong piecewise is gini. Now, that is just equal to if this is 5, this is 3, this is 2, this is 1, no? So, uh, we know that f of x 
Tanaw na to sa graph class. It's defined by three equations. No? Not kana siya, kani, o kana. Okay? So, if we define na to na class, that is just equal to 2. Okay? 2 daw siya class if ang imuhang x is, kung nakita ninyo, asan na siya nga domain? Less than 2, di ba? Less than 2. Kini, kini nga domain. Kini nga domain siya true. Okay? So, meaning we can say that the first equation is 2 when x is less than 2. Okay? Now, kini siya class is equal na siya sa 1. No? 1 siya. If very specific siya class, it is equal to 1 when your x is equal to 2. Wala na kayo lang point dira. Okay? Wala na kayo lang point na that will make this point true because this is a point meaning coordinate na siya. So, it is all, uh, it is just equal to 1. It's only equal to 1, your function. When x is exactly equal to 2, okay? Wala naman na siya nag-move ya or ni-extend pa. It's just a point. Okay, dili class. Kini na pala ito i-define now. Dili mo gini perfect ang graph, no? But gi-estimate na ko ni sa decimals kaganina. This is negative 1 half x plus 2 months ago. Ah, let me check Pwede ba na ito i-lab? Ah, 3 din ni class. 3 months ago. But it doesn't matter. Ako ng point ani is, we want to see yun sa effects yung mga limits. Okay? So, x is... Okay. So, makita na ito class. Kini nga graph is only true when your x is greater than 2. Okay? Mga value sa x na greater than 2, mo ni ang modify sa itong function. Okay? So, okay, dali na din ta. Balit sa limit class. Diba when, when we want to get the limit of a function based sa katong polynomial ng example na today, ato na siyang substitute. Okay? Pinam. So, 2 plus 3 mo na nakakuha 5. But it's not as straightforward here sa itong piecewise because the value of 2, which is this number, to any, as one of my substitute, to any of your, um, to any of the equation, you cannot say that the limit, again, uh, I think uh, in notation, Monisha, f of x, is not always equal. Okay, dili siya necessary equal. It could be equal, pero dili siya 100% equal. So, f of x is not always equal to okay, the limit of f of, I sorry, sorry, f of c, d, a. m, and m, and c, as x approaches to c. Okay? Not always true. Emphasis lang or not always true, but kay, it could be true man in some cases. Not always true niya. Ano man? Okay. If we want to get the value of this, f of 2 plus is, okay, f of 2, asa man itong ito niya equation? When your x is equal to 2, of course, we, we should use this one. Okay, kini kay less than 2, kini kay greater than 2. Dirita sa equal to 2. So, f of 2 is just equal to 1. Okay, because of this equation. But the limit class of f of x as x approaches 2 will have a different value. Ano man? Ano man? Because uh, later makita na nato sa tong two-sided or ano mga one-sided, two-sided limits. Now, but as I've discussed uh, introductions of concepts uh, limits, you want to get the values of f of x both from the left and the right side. No, asa na siya approach. Kung tanaw na ito graphically class, when your x gets closer and closer to 2, mo na yung value from the left, from the right, mo na yung value. It approaches to a certain value and that is 2. Okay? So, this is a proof. Can say piecewise that your 
f of c is not always equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches to c. Okay, I hope it makes sense. Okay, so here are some basic limits. A very easy class. Muna siya ang mga example sa pinakasaya na pagkuhag limits because it's very kuanda. Straightforward rakay siya, no? So, let p and c be real numbers and let n be a positive integer. So, we have here the limit of b. It's a constant function. As x approaches to c, uh, limit niya class is always b. So, since kana mo ha constant function, pas kinasa pa na, for example, 3. Okay, we have here f of x is equal to 3. So, nare mo 2 diri. Nare mo 2. Okay. So, from the left side, it approaches a certain number. From the right side, it approaches a certain number. And that's just equal to your uh, 3. Okay, it's always mo na siya constant mo na mo f of x. <clears throat> here sa to ang limit of x as x approaches to c. Equal to C in a class. All you have to do is just substitute the value of your C to your X. So negative 4. And graphically, yan ay actual. So from the left side of the graph, now the value is approaching negative 4. Okay. And then from the right side of the graph, board, until the value of negative 4, it reaches or it approaches a certain value that is negative 4. Yeah, 4. Kana. Okay, number three, the limit of x of n, sorry, x to the n, as x approaches c is equal to c to the n. And same with the approximation, it's just the same, except that your n here for number two is zero. Sorry, one day one. Okay, so just substitute the value, you substitute the value c to the same of x, and you will get uh, the value of the limit. Okay, so then on class, you have here x squared in a graph. And then approaches to two. Okay, can a value. So unsa ka a value. So from the left side of two, unang values, and from the right side can a mga values. So it approaches a certain value of of your y, which is four. Again, grabi ka dali ra class. All you have to do is substitute. That is for this basic limits. Again, lahi ang sa mga rational, um, radical. Pas sa polynomial, dali na kasi class. Kaya mo lang isubstitute. Okay, so these are the properties of limit. So, uh, kini, kung ano nagyapon? Common sense nagyapon siya class. Now, given the limit of f of x is equal, uh, limit of x, f of x as x approaches to c is equal to l. Uh, Nakay certain, certain limit sa f of, f, f of x, gidenote by l. Same mo g of x po, gidenote by k. So, how do we solve for this kind of operation or when you have uh, if you want to get the limit of a certain number multiplied by f of x by scalar multiple class dali na kayo siya because all you have to do is just multiply this minakuha ni mga l whatever that limit is i multiply na ni mo sa uh, b value okay some of different some are different so if you want to get the limit of Two functions ngayon mong gi-add or yung mong gi-subtract as x approaches to x. All you have to do is, again, just add or subtract ang yung mga limit. L plus minus k. For the product, same na gapong class. If limit of f of x times g of x as x approaches to c, multiply na gapong ng L. Okay. For quotient, of course, same na gapong. Except that your k must not be equal to zero. Dapat imuhang limit there is a g of x that should not be zero para ma-apply ni nimo. Okay, otherwise, that will become, again, undefined. And then for the power class, f of x, limit of f of x as x approaches to c, uh, sorry, f of x raised to n. So, same regya upon, just plug in the value of your limit, erase ni mo sa n, and you will have, you will get this value. <clears throat> Okay, so let's apply some properties of limits. Actually, mas kinwala na kung nag-discuss ang property class. Sa'yo nag-iapon kayo siya, tat, uh, sa'yo nag-iapon kayo siya, so, okay. This is a polynomial, so pwede rin nato siya i-substitute the ratio, pero before ta mag-apply ang property dia sa right side, ato sa tanahon, uh, yung mong buha ito is, i-rewrite niyo mo, no, 4x squared plus 3. 
as x approaches to 2. So, all you have to do is just substitute lang basically the number. I get 19. But applying the properties of limits class, we know that from here, but property 2, that is the sum of difference. So, can you see ya? Kanesha, we can rewrite this in this form, no? Because this is this is considered as one function multiplied by a scalar quantity, multi uh, added to a certain function or set function. So by the second property, can some summary difference? We can express this into like this. As long as they will have the same uh, value of x plus. Okay, and then kini mo further paginato ni bulag by virtue of property one which is 4, which is katong balit, imong B dire, no? multiplied by whatever limit. Ang L ni mo class is equal manani. Limit of f of x is x approaches to c. So, gilirate na ito siya in this way. Dugay-dugay lagi ta class para na ma-apply na ito ang properties and limits. Pero actually, i-plug in na na yung value. Okay? And then here, we can substitute na dahil the value of 2, no? So, 2 squared and then multiplied by 4 plus 3. That is, kine is a constant uh, constant maning function and kining uh, um property is katong sa first kani imong constant function okay so yeah din mo tanan you will get 19 i don't know about graph basta pwede na yung graph and you will see that the value of, as x approaches 2 ang imo value sa imo ang limit will approach kaning value 19 Sige, so again, a reminder, direct substitution property is valid only for all polynomials. So, kita ka polynomial of rational function with non-zero denominators, pwede rin natin mo siya diritsyo, i-simplify or i-substitute ang value. Okay, let's have um, the limits of polynomial and rational functions. I mentioned ako kanina, uh, katosha class, if P is a polynomial function and C is a real number, then all you gotta do is substitute C, say mong mga x three, so you will get P of C. If R is a rational function given by this one, and C is a real number such that dili ni mazira mo denominator, then straightforward rin po siya plus the the limit of that is just R of C, which is substituting the value of C to your x. Okay, so let's have an example. Okay, ganina class. Awa, ganina. Dili na to masubstitute ang ato ang one drain because because mahimo man na siyang okay, mahimo man na siyang kini, mahimo na siyang zero. So it will become undefined. Mona siya ang dili ni mo ma-apply ani nga theorem because it will yield a value of 0 sa mga q of c. But here class, sige, example. Example of a rational function where you can just directly substitute the value of your c. So, again, ang like, mga teknika ni when you are dealing with rational function is tanaw ni Madrid show ang denominator. So, pag substitute mo sa value sa x, mo zero ba na siya? If mo zero siya, ayan mo siya pangitanog another way to simplify. But here, tanawa class, when your x is 1, may mo ning 1, di ba dili man ma zero? May mo na siya 2. So, you can directly substitute that. So, you have a uh, limit of x squared minus x minus 2, all over x plus 1 as x approaches to 1, let substitute the value of 1. <clears throat> you have here 1 plus 1, okay? Ang value si mong x, okay? So, you have here 1 minus 1, 0, negative 2 all over 2. Okay, so that is negative 1. Okay? Ah, okay. So, atong tanawang class, wala man tayo, wala man din ako nag graph. Atong yung graph sa decimal si Karun. Kung mga ba ginayahang value? Okay. So, Okay. So, input x squared. Ay, ako siya nang nangyayin. Sige. So, that is x squared minus x minus 2. 
And denominator na to is x plus 1. And we want to get the value class now of the limit of this function as x approaches to 1. So x approaches to 1. So I'm gamay. Okay. x approaches to 1 na class. As you can see from the left side and from both from the left and from the right side now, it approaches to a certain value which is negative 1. Kani. So I'm going to go uh, cannot see. Uh, na lang. Okay. Okay, so 1, negative 1. Again, it's a, a point. Wala y coordinate. We're just getting the limit. Okay, it just so happened that it's part of your solution, same one graph. Okay, so again, this is the limit of f of x, x approaches to 1 is equal to negative 1. Okay, moving on to the theorem, uh, the limit of a function involving a radical. So, same thing as for radical functions, we have to do is substitute lang yaha point na value. Okay, the limit of a composite function, same lang point class, uh, it's as if getting the getting the limit of the kumbaga katong inner ni mga function okay getting the limit and then multi and then whatever the value of that imo mo ko ang limit class mo ti mag plug in sa value sa x mo ang f of x okay so ingan ra gyapon class limit of g of x is equal to n value and then that value may mo na din na Value same of x, there is same of f of x. Okay, don't wait for example. Okay, let's go to trigonometric. Same ragya po class. Dili mo gay problema, basta koan, basta wala bito siya denominator. Okay, dili man wala puruhan nga mag undefined taba. So, dali ragya po. For sine, tangent, and all, all your trigonometric functions, basically what you're doing is just substituting the value of c to your x. Okay, moving on to uh, functions that agree at all but one point. Okay, so many functions that agree at all but one point. So let's see be a real number. And let f of x is equal to g of x. For, for all x may be equal to c in an open interval containing c. So if the limit of g of x as x approaches c exists, then the limit of f of x also exists. So, hmm. Basically, class, um, basically, more or like identity functions, no? If your f of x and g of x is equal, then their limit will also be equal, okay? Limit will also be equal, given that when your x approaches to the same value, Okay, uh, let's have this example for another for rational class para maanad mo. Ang sabi buha ito na karoon. Itong gibuhat sa first is we tabulated, no? And then we added some arbitrary points, no? From the left of that point and from the right of that point to see kung asa siya mula po converge na value. But you, you cannot always do that kay madugay mo. So, ang teknik na ito ano is when the value of your x will make the function undefined. So, Yung buhaton is, you simplify your function by uh, getting the factors. Ano yung say, mong, mong numerator. So you have here, the limit of x squared minus 2x minus 3 all over x minus 3 as x approaches to 3. So again, this value, this 3 here, will make this an undefined function. Yung mong directly substitute. So mong itatag way to factor that out. Okay, yung mga na factor man mo numerator. You want to get rid basically of the denominator. Ang wala na siya dira. Para, ayan na ito, masubstitute ang value. Okay, so let's find the factors of x squared minus 2x minus 3. So, ito sa insulat na rin. Okay. So, review in yung factoring skills. The factor na, usually class, kung tagahan ka rational function, ang isa yung ka-factor ang nasa yung denominator. Kung wala, oh, problema na na mo. But in this case, uh, atong sulayan class, it could be, no, 
na uh, factor sa mo hang isa isa ka factor sa numerator is your denominator so that would be x minus three so what could be the other factor so may tama na nimo that is negative two ang yung hang middle term let me change this it's negative two and then you have negative three nga last term so it could be nga plus one na dira no so that your the product of negative three and positive one is still negative three and the sum of negative three and positive one is negative two so tama na nila so that means our factor for x minus two x minus three is x minus three x plus one now ato ng rewrite rewrite na today that will be the limit of so na rewrite ng x approaches si dire kado ah kaw na to ang factor plus x minus three x plus one yun dahil kaya x plus three dira so what happens here you have the same minus three then you have the same factor no so we can cancel that out cancel na x minus three so that leaves us with the limit of x plus 1 alam na yung class as x approaches to 3. And this is the time na makasubstitute na ka sa values in 3. So we have 3 plus 1. That is equal to 4. Si ganin na di mo na ito masubstitute. Okay, that will become undefined. So let's see sa graph. Wala kaya pa yung graph. So ito yung graph plus. Makaon. Makaon. Okay. Mm, x minus minus three. Minus three. Minus three. Okay, so once as x approaches to three. Okay, so Atong tanaw ng table, dali class, okay? Gusto na ako makita. O, oh, see? So, kuna siya. Para makita yun na itong definition. So, uh, I had here, I have here five points, no? So, kung atong ay tanaw, huwag mag-good siya nag-halo, class. So, yun nga naman, i-clider ko na yun. Okay? Uh, tara, tara. Wala mo ganyan, dito ka na so, kana siya is, from the left side of your graph, approaching to 3, and from the right side of your graph, approaching to 3. The value will be 4, ang limit ni mo class. But, kung yung i-hover dali sa graph na ito, tapos mo sila sa Naka-color siya, it means it's part of the points or the solution of your function. Except this value here, say mong 3, because it is undefined. <laughs> Excuse me. So again, the limit of this function as it approaches the value of 3 among x, as x approaches to 3, is ang 4. Okay, so let's move on to Strategy of finding limits. One day in class. First is, learn to recognize which limits can be evaluated by direct substitution. Mo nang gigingan nila. Ang una dyan yung yung approach that now is, kung ako siyang i-substitute directly ang value sa C dito si mong X, makakuha ba ko o real number? Okay? If not, if not, kaya ma-define siya, ayan na din ka mag- um, mag find a function, or basically what you're gonna do is factor out, rationalize, whatever you can do not to simplify that function. Para, once pwede na ni mo siya ma direct substitution. Um, again, a goal na to is to directly substitute the value of your c si mong x. Okay, so after factoring that out, apply na rin ka theorem 1.7, wherein, um, wherein you can. 
substitute. Ah, okay. Can you share ka tong last na tong Ethereum class ba? Okay. So, you can get the value of G of C. Sorry, wala din ako na, na, na in depth of this class ni. Uh, basically, what it means here, class, for the function that I agree at all, but at but one point, apa sa sa battery is except na except. Si pa sa bata ni nga uh, may equality siya nga limit is because f of x na to class. Think of it. Think of this as your f of x. G of x na to is kani. Okay, they will have the same limit. They will have the same limit because they will have the same graph, except that at x is equal to three, dili solution ang imuhang um dili solution sa f of x ang value sa imuhang x is equal to three and yung y coordinate again because and define man siya, okay? So meaning kaning duha ka function class they will have the same limit they will have the same points no they agree or they have the same set of solution except that one point except that one point which is katong three three yun yung katong undefined dira raman sila nag differ diba all the rest all the rest they will have the same graph or point so atong itryo graph three ang x plus one see Ah, uh, atong i atong atong sunon class ang iyang points dela. Ay ganyan lang. Kani ako ni ko sa. Kani siya is 3 man ino. Kani na so undefined. How about ang x plus 1? Of course 4. Again, pareha na sila points class tanan tanan. Atong sunon na ko. Okay, bagaran ni. So, why don't to change color? Anyways, nag-overlap na na yung mga graph dia class. Nag-overlap na na siya, you know. So, ang difference na nila, as you can see, is kanin 3. When x is equal to 3. Because sa x plus 1, when x is equal to 3, yung y or yung f of x is 4. Okay? While, the rational function will have an undefined value. Okay, mo siya ang application na nila. Um, proper, uh, sorry, uh, theorem. Okay, so mo ni siya ang atong gi hold or gi gi gamit ka theorem no to to justify our solution nga i simplify na to siya before na to siya substitute. Okay, and then lastly, after na ka na ko di ba direct substitution? So kung may direct substitution ni mo, good for you. If daily you have to rationalize it, you have to simplify, you have to factor. Um, whatever can be factored out para makancel to ni mong whatever needs to be cancelled out nga makapa-undefined or makapa-imaginary sa imuhang function. And then after that, pag pwede na ka maka-direct substitute, substitute, you can do so. And then, you will get the value of your limit. And then, to reinforce your conclusion, you need to use graph or table or both. No? Sige, let's solve this one. You have here a rational function gap on. So, you have the limit of x cubed minus 1 um, over x minus 1 as x approaches to 1. Okay. First step, you have to get the, um, you have to substitute. If you substitute the value of 1 here, same x, this will become 0, right? So that is one minus one minus zero. Minus one undefined. So you cannot, you cannot directly substitute it. So what what we should be doing is, this is x cubed minus one. So this can be factored. So we will find a factor of x cubed minus one plus. Now, katong ginoon kaganina, most of the time, ang isa ka factor ni mo ana, kay kana imo denominator. Kimo na tong whole plus. Ato man siyang ipa um ipa cancel out ang kanang makapa-undefined sa iya okay so we factor out x cube oh, sorry we factor x cube minus 1 we find the factor so a factor na is actually 
if you can remember, po factor out na to sa to ang binomial nung naka uh, naka cube and uh, The ang isa ang naka factor will be a binomial. Ang isa will be a trinomial. Right? Now, ang binomial ni mo class will be please review your factoring skills again. So, ang isa ni mo ka factor ana will be binomial. Okay? How do you identify the terms of the binomial? First is, you get the cube root of the first term. A cube root ana will be x. Okay? And then, Next is, ang isa ni mo ka-term sa binomial will be the cube root of the second term. So, that is just one cube root niya. And how do you identify the sign niya? Tanaw na natin mo yung sign there, class. Kung unsan lang assign sign negative man na, i-negative sa natin mo ang binomial. Bali, ang, fact, ang binomial ni mga factor will have the same sign sa imuhang polynomial. Ngagi factor. So, that is just negative ra. Okay. Now, dili mag magdula gamay ang sign no. If you have here a negative sign, ang atong i-follow ana is minus plus plus or plus minus plus. Sa pasabutan. Either ana ra mo gud nimong factor class sa kaniba, naka-cube nimo nga polynomial. So, either plus minus plus or minus plus plus. Okay? Kanila yung duha ang mag, mag, magbulag, eh, mag, mag exchange class. Kanila yung duha. Okay? Kanila yung duha. So, ayha po naman identify kung unsay negative or positive ba na siya. Diri po ka mafollow. Okay? So, kung negative na matidira, meaning plus plus na yung duha. Sige, i-review na lang ninyo. Ha? Okay, so what is now the factor, uh, the trinomial factor of this? Ang first term ni mo anak class will be the square the square of your binomial kani square ani square ano no so that is just x squared Ang middle term ni mo anak class will be the product of your two terms So ang product ni mo ani x times 1 ay na na imine ang 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 negative so 1 no kay di na siya matter kay naka plus naman ta dira okay x times 1 that is just x and then finally ang imong last term here that is just the square of the second term sa imong binomial so kanang 1 dira imo ra nang square so that is just equal to 1 okay so therefore ato factor na like class sa x cubed minus 1 is x minus 1 multiplied by quantity x squared plus x plus 1. So, muna yung factor. So, muna nang i-rewrite diha. That is equal to the limit of the factor is x minus 1 x squared plus x plus 1. So, this this is very important. No, kabalo dapat mo mo factor kikundi. Hindi mo makabalo mo simplify ano yato ang function. Okay, so since it's the same, x minus 1, cancel, cancel. So that leaves us with the limit of, on sa na bilin, x squared plus x plus 1. As x approaches to 1, dali, and then yung class, pwede nyo din yung direct substitute. 1 squared plus 1 plus 1. Kung wala pa na yung mga substitute yung value class, always yun na yung ibutang ang kaning limit, no? Okay, ayun na siya biya idea. Kaya mo after ani kini din sulat dili pa na mao. So, you will get 3. Um, sige, let's try to <coughs> Let's try to graph na lang ya pon. Um, atong i-graph class dili kaning x squared Dili kanya ito, i-graph class kanyang x squared plus x plus 1. Atong i-graph is kanyang. Okay, umi na itong original function. Minus 1. Minus 1. Okay? So, 
x approaches to 1, 3 daw siya plus. Okay? Ito na lang panag table. Ano lang oh. Diba? 1 kay undefined ako no. But if we look at our graph. Ano itong 1 na ito? Ito lang. Kanyang 1. Ano lang. Gusto mo kung ang point ba? Ano lang. 1 undefined. Okay. So, kanang 1 undefined mo, gina ang iyang um, value si mong function. But, it approaches to a certain number, 3. Okay? Kita mo na ni mo, 3 lang na siya. Tanan ha, mutan ako ka sa y class. Kanay mong limit si mong function. Okay, let's move on to, okay, rationalizing technique. Kani, good for rational rapo din siya nga mga kuan. Ay, sorry. Kanang radical ba? Radical nga mga functions. Kanang yung mga square root. Cube root, whatsoever. Um, yung mga buha to lang is we rationalize. How do you rationalize? If you remember class, ah, sige. Um, ato sa tanaw, ano? Sige, ito first step. First step is, first step is we try to substitute the value of our C. Here sa tong X. Now, denominator let an awa diretso class. If you substitute zero sa mga denominator diretso na naman yung mga undefined. So, again, delete na pwede mag-direct substitution for now. At sa siyang i-simplify. So, how do we simplify? There's a radical sign there. Ito ng gamitan of rationalizing technique. And how do we rationalize? We multiply class the conjugate of this um, expression here. Yeah, conjugate niya. So, that is just the limit. At ano na i-rewrite, no? Mag-rationalize sa diri sa solid class. So, that is square root of x plus 1 minus 1 all over x. How do we rationalize? We multiply siya yung conjugate, no? So, that is square root of x plus 1 plus 1, no? Conjugate aning ibabaw. Now, of course, if we multiply that in numerator nga square root of x plus 1 plus 1, ato yung pungutangan sa obos. Para wala yung ma-change sa ito ang equation class. Because that is just equal to 1, no? We are not changing anything. Basta nang uban, ba? Dili na mag-times as numerator. Dili na na siya equalan, eh. Kini siya is we're just basically multiplying it to 1. So we're not changing the value of the function. Okay? Ato lang siyang gi-simplify gamay or gi- uh, gi- gi- tek- kuan ba? Gi- gamitag pinagbabawal nga teknik para Ma-solve na ito na siya nila. Okay? So, um, here, mag-multiply ni money class, ganun conjugate man. It's very easy, okay? If you remember class, what is x plus y times x, x minus y? No? If you multiply two binomials, the same terms except lang sa ilang sign, that's just equal to x squared minus y squared. Now, basically, you're just squaring these uh, terms here. So, Following that logic, what we're doing sa ito numerator is, actually, we're just multi, uh, ato lang ng kuwan class. Ato sa rewrite or sa obos na lang. Obos na lang. Ato yan po nang sulat to ng limit class din, nakalimutan. So, may taba ni, eh? square root of x plus 1, no? Squared, ano, dami na siya. Minus 1 squared. Okay? So, kanig, square na to, kay same na sila, kanig, kanig, no? Dahil yun, atong sign will be minus. All over, ang x na to class, multiply na siya of, ay sorry, na pa ito sa x plus 1, plus 1, okay? Careful sa kuha na, wala ni napil na class na ito, wala na sa tama. Ano na? Ugang yan sa ina to class. Sige. So, um, that will be, of course, kana imong numerator diha class sa metabuan. Mahimo na na siyang tungod kay naka-square man na cancel, wala ba cancel na nimo di ba? Mawala ra yung radical sign basically kay naka index diha nito. So basically what is left is x plus 1 sa so sulod. Okay? Mawala yung radical sign. Minus 1 na 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 siya all over x 
kaning ubos glass, ayaw sana siya i-distribute. Kay, ang atong manggugula na is mawala ng X, dira. May patient lang, mawala na lagi na yung X. So, equals limit of mahitabo na sa taas class is naman na now, X plus 1 minus 1. So, mawala na yung 1 minus 1 dili, may mura mo na yung 0. So, mabili na na sa taas is X. Yan, sa ubos X. Again, ayos ay nag-i-distribute dira. Okay. No? So, muna din eh, makansan na din na to ato ang X. May lagi din makansan na ito ang X. So, ang ato mag-goal again ha, kung si maka-undefined siya, we want to get rid of that. Okay? So, pwede na, stay put na sa natin ang X ni mo. So, in this case, naabot na ito sa point class, nga na-cancel na ito itong X, nawala na ang maka-undefined sa ito ang limit. Okay? So, cancel naman na dira. So, what is left is, so, di na lang kung alit less, 1 over, okay, pwede na din na siya X, square root of X plus 1 plus 1 dira. Okay, kung tanawin mo class, pwede na na masubstitute na ito. Ito yung substitute. 1 over square root of 0 man ang x no plus 1 plus 1. Okay? So, that is 1 over. Ang mabili naman diri class is 1. Square root of 1 is just 1 raman. Nga, ada ni mag 1. Then, ito na nakuha. So, that's just 1 half. So, that is your limit. 1 half dira din ni. Yung sa rega. So, ato a. Graph lang yan po ng class. Kapoy na makaklas. Square root of x. Ako sa puta mag denominator. Pagkikin na siya mga bakit na niya. Plus 1. Minus 1 dahil yun. Minus 1. Okay. So, asa naman ito? Okay, nara siya yan. Draft class. Ang iha, gusto na ito. Sa 0, no? Nara sa 0. Oo, nara sa 0. Okay. So, magkita ni mo class sa 0. Undefined yan po ng class. Hindi na lang ako matuklok. Nara o 0. Undefined. Okay? Undefined siya sa 0. Yan point. But again, makita na ito kung ni-approach na siya 2.5 as x approaches to 0. Both from the left and from the right side of your graph. Okay? So, I hope that's understandable. Okay, you you need to kung gusto mo practice exercises class na ada sa book of Larson na calculus net edition pages ninety two to ninety three I think na upload naman ko ni sa references and then kini siya pinadto isolve next meeting pwede sa din yung practice practice sa hindi mo ka example dere but your assignment will be this so you can put it in one half or one whole I think one whole na lang siguro so one whole with the yellow paper Please add one paper kasi available sa inyo. Ayaw lang ng notebook ang galaxy class. Palihog lang kayo. Um, para limpura po din yung um, assignment. Okay, so that would be all for limits. Uh, continuation and it will be next meeting. Should stop. Should stop. Should stop.